playwright and motivational speaker. I'm a native Baltimorean and I'm the author of Dark Clouds, A Charm City Family's Struggle. Well, since you all asked for it, I took my book from page to stage. Last year, I started a nationally touring stage production, and to make things extra special, my team and I decided to host a casting call in my hometown, Baltimore. The auditions will not disappoint. My team and I met the night before the audition to go over the final details for the big day. Okay, so here we go again. Here we go. Pulling another late, late night. Do you have a, what do you think, can you press something? Do you have something? Yeah, what you need? Jessica wants that, um, that. Oh, uh, we can do some more though, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. She said as long as I have it signed while we were in there. We'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> that always jammed us the hell out. Oh my God, let me tell y'all something. When you are planning something, get all your ducks in a row. You know why? Because the devil is pound. Very busy. <laughs> that was awful. I had a terrible day behind that. Oh my it messed my God. whole day up. Yeah. She <laughs> knew. I was there. Was- I mean, but when she said, no cameras can roll without it. Like, this is a done deal. Like, it's off. What'd I tell you? What'd I say? Um, we're gonna say forget it. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I was okay. like, forget it. I mean, I was over it. I've been like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Like, no, honestly, because like, that's what this is about. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Okay. I was done completely. And she was like, no, no. Don't say, she was saying all this optimistic stuff that I really didn't want here at that time. And it was just was awful. Praying. I was praying baby Jesus. That was awful. Who does that? <laughs> That was a, um... I mean, in the 11th hour. 11th hour. Child, ain't no love like a mother's love was about to be no love. I mean, it was about to be pound shutdown. I have some, uh, some documents to show you. All right, perfect. That's what I've been waiting for. Waiting for what? Character descriptions? <laughs> yes. I mean, why you ain't get a naked, half naked picture of him? Cause that's what it's about. So we want to see somebody take their shirt off. And why first gotta be light skin? Well, first of all, um, these are my characters. Well, he was pictures. in real life. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, whoever has the best physique okay. when they take their shirt off is, you know, whether they light skin or dark skin, it's okay. fine. I mean, I hope he can get somebody to take their shirt off. Is that why you having these auditions? <laughs> One of the reasons. Terrell Carter, Idris Elba, Usher. You want to be a sexy, chocolate, shirtless man. Ooh. So what about Sherry? What about her? I don't see a picture. See a picture for well, everybody, but that's yeah. the thing. See, I didn't want to box in who right. Sherry is gonna be because she can be as long as she um is like bodacious and bootylicious. I have somebody for, well, I can't say I have somebody for Sherry, but there's somebody who I invited specifically to, to do for Sherry. audition for Sherry. Okay. She there's gonna sing? That I, she sings. Oh, okay. There's somebody that I specifically invited to, to interview for. Can she um, dance? Cause know. you know she gotta do the single lady. Well, she's big, don't you? I mean, we could, you know. Most big people can dance. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, in the nicest way. But I mean, we gotta, gotta get a choreographer in to yeah. teach them that single ladies anyway. And then I have somebody for Emerald. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> is it a little queen? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> so you like this? This is good. And this is good. Let me see your face. Hey! How are you? Give me hugs. Hey, why ain't nobody talking about your. Oh, you don't watch Scandal. You're the only. I do not watch Scandal. Oh, okay. Did y'all see when Melly's... Yeah, Don't do that. Don't start talking about all that stuff I don't know about. Okay, okay. let's look at these. Let's look at these. Okay, let's compare the size. It's not about the size. <laughs> well, in this case it is. Look at this. <laughs> That's fierce. <laughs> Honey, that looks terrible. Oh. Who did a thing like that? That looks terrible. Mm. We're going to go with my, my own. <laughs> what am I wearing? Oh, uh, what wow. are you wearing? Yeah, I put on my way in a fabulous dress uh-huh. like you had on the news. Tell us about uh, what actors need to do in if they come in front of you, how they can land a part. So actors need to show up on Saturday okay. at the Wyndham Peabody Court Hotel, downtown Baltimore, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And they need to come in with a monologue. They don't need to be experienced, but they need to come in and let me see what they have. You better have a fast show. Yeah. No, not uh, really.
We were up all night. It was so much work to be done. Well, you know, we're, we're on. Oh, oh. <laughs> y'all trying to feel like that other, y'all alcoholics. Cause we just look, look how much I still have left. <laughs> I took care of it for you. Look yeah. how much you me, though. That's all I'm you sorry. Did you I, want some more? Uh, no. Right. You know what happened to you the last time you had two. Okay, but why would you have three different kinds again after what happened. Well, it didn't answer to us. <laughs> like, yeah. Selfish, selfish. I was pound very sick. <laughs> okay, so we supposed to be working and they always coming over here trying to drink. She's a sipper, not a drinker. Okay? I'm not an alcoholic, but they are. So look, it has been a long, I mean, we got about an hour to sleep. Yeah. It's about an hour. <laughs> y'all ain't got to go home, but y'all got to get the hell out of here. It's late. Okay, I'm it's right. in the morning. No, you ain't I'm even. Right. You getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cheers to it. A Let's cheers. Full, amazing. Casting. Hold on, I'm still talking. Oh. Um, <laughs> successful, amazing, productive, blessed casting call. Yay. Congratulations in Thank advance. Thank you. Coming up next on The Call. I got a sweeter song than the birds in the tree. Feel my cup, fill it up. I know you haven't made your mind up yet. tuning into the first episode of my docu-series. I got some really great feedback. And I also got some not so great feedback about the sound. A docu-series is real life, and in real life, they're bloopers. So, I'm not here with the peach. It's all good, not a housewife, I'm a playwright. And this is not Wee TV, BET, or MTV. It's CLB, LLC. Sit back and enjoy the perfectly imperfect journey. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the sound, it's about the show. Last time on the call. I mean, why you ain't get a naked, half naked picture of him? Look at this. <laughs> That's fierce. <laughs> Honey, that looks terrible. Productive, blessed casting call. Yay. Congratulations. Entertainment is making history. With the help of my team, a few celebrity judges, and the city of Baltimore, I am going to get some true talent. This is a great turnout. I mean, Baltimore really showed up today. Okay, so let's chat real quick before they start sending people in. So, um, so Ruby, as you guys can see, is um, Keisha Knight Pulliam. This takes place when she's like in a teen, so I wouldn't like a nice petite little girl if we could find one. <laughs> If we could find one. And this price guy, I need somebody that can, um, on the stage, in real life, that can take his shirt off. Because the ladies right. want that. And every show, I've been doing my research, looking at shows, and a man takes his shirt off every time. So ladies can be like, ah! Okay. So yeah, we need a, a man that can take his shirt off for that. Calvin Tucker, from singing to acting, modeling, dancing, whatever it may be required for the production, I'm probably able to step in and help out. All right, Calvin, so what you coming to show us today? Okay, we, we get the best of both worlds. I'm ready. Feel my cup, Lord. God has called me for this particular time to just reach out and inspire the world through all the different gifts he's given me. So you want to show up after 17 years. 17 years. And now you want to be a father. Where were you when I was that little boy running around the streets looking for my father? You know, me joining up with this project will be an excellent opportunity to just go further in uh, performing arts ministry. Yeah. Okay, so y'all already biased? No. I didn't think it was working at all. Okay. I thought his acting was better than his singing. Right, right, right. You think he was just nervous because y'all were yeah, in here? Yeah. I mean, I think that his nerves got the best of him. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It was okay. 
but it didn't quite make my toes curl. Sometime in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. You tried and I knew I was supposed to do it. I knew I was supposed to kill my Jenny. It's Kiana Stewart. It's my first audition I've ever done professionally. Um, so I'm very excited to be here right now. Hey, Kiana. How are you? Once I got into the real world, career world, I began to um, work as a marketing strategist for various marketing companies. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself first. What are you going to do? Um, I'm not really an actress, but I am open to it. Also, I let them know I'm a makeup artist, so if you don't pick me for the show, you already know. use me for the uh, makeup <laughs> casting. Fashion week, um, lots of fashion shows, different photo shoots. Wait a minute, you said what now? I'm also a guitarist and a blogger and a writer. It's pretty much anything that I can get myself booked on. <laughs> And marketing strategies. <laughs> no, seriously, I have to say everything. One way or another, I told you. Okay. Ready? I can hold you for a million years to make you feel my love. I know you haven't made your mind up yet. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I have made my mind up, and it's a no. No doubt in my mind where you belong. I go hungry, I go black and blue. I go crawling down the avenue. No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do to make you feel my love. I would say my energy and my can-do attitude, um, as well as the talent. I have talent. Good job, Kiana. Did you see that? Thank you for coming. The facial expressions. I was going to die. <laughs> Negative one. <laughs> Negative <laughs> one. <laughs> Negative one. <laughs> But when I get outside, I notice this coat isn't Nicole Fari, and it isn't real cashmere. I go back in the store, and they won't give me my money back. I tried to show you that I loved you. Thank you. Yeah, maybe I could have told you about the house. I probably could have, but I did. I tried to do something right by you and my family. Andrew Simmons, singing is my, my passion since I was two years old. Did a little bit of acting when I was maybe 13. I got a sweet song. To be able to do something that I love to do, which is singing and the using the gift that God gave me to be a blessing to others is by far the greatest thing that I, that I can do. I guess you say, why can't it make me There's a gift that was given to me that I want to share with the world. And I believe that that gift that God has put in me, I can bless others through it. Thank you. So I was grooving to it a little bit. You know, I was getting my groove on a little bit, but the judges, not so much. You good for Try this too much. You gave me AIDS, Tars. I got a child that you haven't even seen yet. Supposedly your grandchild. Man, I don't know you. Please. My name is Kirk Thomas. My cousin actually called me. She seen the advertisement on Facebook this morning. She called me up at 7 o'clock this morning was like, you need to go to this, aud this audition. They, they looking for actors and singers. You need to just go ahead down there. How can it's not like God was talking to me like, go ahead, look, go ahead down, down there. You cry about it every day. That's just what you want to do. You know, this is your life. This is your passion. I have the passion, I have the drive, um, I'm trying to quit my 9 to 5, <laughs> I'm trying to quit my 9 to 5, I believe I'm good, I believe, I, I believe that I am good and I, and I won't let y'all down. Okay, a one, one vote for Kiana, one vote for Kiana. They overruled me on Kirk, like they think he should just be an understudy, but he gave me a little bit of a tear. Just a little bit. Very good. Still looking for the best of the best. Help my children. Don't let them stand by the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. 
to the depths of your being and there's the talents that your spirit is free. Know within your heart when you go and get slow is your faith in yourself that continues to grow. And I started to say thank you earlier, but I looked at you and I said, okay, do I say thank you now? Why did yeah, I've learned the three minutes because we don't want to leave feeling too defeated. Right. So I don't want to cut him at one minute. Uh, she stopped in midstream. If she was on the stage, I'm like, you, you don't want that in your plan. The judges are going in, baby. We had a real life Simon on set. I'm gonna be a little more like Paula. Cause I mean, we're competing with shows that are out there right, right. now. And, yeah. You know, wow. Yeah, we don't have time. Like this show has already been on the road. I went to see the range last week, and I was like, okay, I gotta set my game up. Right. We can't handle that. Yeah, you don't want the show. You don't want it to look amateur. So. Right. Right. Baltimore, where y'all at? I mean, come on. Coming up next on the call. On the call, the judges are going in. We're competing with shows well, that are out there right, right now. Yeah. And, you know, wow. Yeah, we don't yeah. have time. Like this show has already been on the road. Still looking for the best of the best. Feel my cup, Lord. I'm not really an actress. How can you think of me? He gave me a little bit of a tear. Just a little bit. I know you haven't made your mind up yet. <laughs> no ma'am, no ma'am. I have made my mind up and it's a no. Baltimore, where y'all at? I mean, come on. So today was a good day, but honestly, it was a little difficult. I'm not sure that I found my stars. I mean, this is gonna take some work. Now, I love the kids. So I sent my team into the room just to get the people all riled up and ready to audition before me and the panel. All right, listen, here's what I need to do. I need to hear some singing right now. Well, let's start with her because she's the youngest. Come here, sweetheart. What's your name? She's Come on, Toya. Oh, she's now, we're going. Honey, honey, I can see the stars away from me. Louder than a lion because I am a champion. Yes, now the real performers have shown up. Yes, my name is Jalen Amasor. One could have dealing with one person. I have been acting since I was three years old. I've been through many auditions. Famous. Like Kardashian, famous, only a lot less scandalous. You should pick me for a role in the play because I will show enthusiasm and a lot of creativity. The accent was great. Well, the accent. I give it a B. But this little girl has chances. This is even a word. I should be discovered by Disney. Morgan White. I don't even know why I'm here. I love Tyler Perry. <laughs> I watch his plays and I love Medea, the character Medea. That's my inspiration. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Crystal L. Bass is about to have one of the best plays of all time. Of all time. All time. Gorgeous guy. 
I just hope I'm what they're looking for today. I'm always coming here and I'm disappointed, but I'm here to give my all and I hope you all can appreciate that. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wait, oh. I thought that was a party oh. yesterday. Oh. Oh. That was it. Oh, okay. I always give my all no matter what. Like, I don't, I always take constructive criticism. Morgan, hey, you did a great job. Put your ass with some constructive criticism. And being the nice lady that I am, I'm gonna give you some free advice. So you can take it or leave it, but I'm gonna break it down to you in a way that kids can understand because this is Kitty Takeover. If you're going on an interview at McDonald's and an audition is essentially an interview, if McDonald's asks you, why should we hire you today? Your answer cannot be, I repeat, your answer cannot be, because Burger King is my favorite. I eat there all the time, and the Whopper, the Whopper inspires me. Now let me tell you why you can't say that. Because if you're working for McDonald's, then Burger King is not cutting the check. So if you want to come here and work for me on Ain't No Love Like A Mother's Love, then Mr. Tyler Perry and Ma to the DEA, they ain't cutting no checks. Now all hail to Tyler Perry. We all know he's great at what he does. However, comma, that wasn't the time or the place. I mean, another person would say, what are you doing here then? You should hop on the next flight out to Atlanta, run up to Tyler Perry Studios, and then audition for him. I mean, I'm not saying that because I'm a nice lady, but I'm just saying. Anything you tell me, I'll use it to improve myself. And I think I'm pretty confident, so I will always bring forth to the table whatever you need me to do. I'm willing to compromise. Yeah, because she had us all fooled, I think. Yes, we were all fooled. So that was believable. So uh, I don't act on anything like this. It's just in my, in my suggestion from you know, experience. But I think when you do that, next time for, when you come into a room and you, you uh, do that part of the monologue, you should follow it up with something. Because that's so catchy, it'll catch it catches right. the attention of Absolutely. everybody. Yeah. But then follow it up with something that's very something dramatic good, yeah. and very good. I guarantee you it'll win them over. Right. Bravo, you did a good job. Right. <laughs> she wrote that herself. Um, when I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. Nineteen times she went back south to save three hundred others. Nineteen times she went back south to save black sisters and brothers. My name is Therese. Seriously, barbers are for babies. Why can't my pants be? I have danced before, I have been in a play before, I have been acting, I have been dancing. It was horrible. He pretended that he was drinking tea and talking like a stuffed bear. Do you like your tea, Mr. Booba? I just love my tea. I think I'm still traumatized. I know how to like act and I know how to do different voices. Oh my God, did y'all see her? She was such a little diva. I loved it. Ah, oi, oof. 10 million years will give you such a crook in the neck, but does it feel good to be out of there? Woo! Nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lena. Hi, my name is Erin. I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Scared to rock the boat and make a mess. We all did a touring so company. And I like to sing and dance. I really love acting and I really love singing. So I would like to do more plays. So I fell for everything. Held me down, but I got up. Get ready, cause I've had enough. I seen it all, I seen it now. Like them, they're gonna shake your crown. You held me down, but I got up. Get ready, cause I've had enough. I seen it all, I seen it now. I got the eye of a tiger, the fire. Dancing through the fire, cause I am a champion. And you're gonna hear me roar.
because I love to perform as well. And um, maybe I guess it's just kind of been passed on because at night before they, they go to sleep, we would sing songs. And so now they're just like singing songs. We all just sing songs. So. All the time. <laughs> all the time. Now those two sisters, they really had me grooving. I mean, everybody loved them. Good job. Yeah. Thanks so much, I mean, my daughter's ladies. not here, they would have battled you. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny's Child, watch out. These little girls came ready. Coming up next on The Call. And the husband who stimulates me. I was talking to my girlfriend Maria on the phone the other day and uh, Maria tells me, oh my God, you will not believe what she told me. And I know that things are gonna be okay. But even though I have no family, no job, and no money for college, it's you that I feel sorry for. But, oh, and I still go. Um, hello, I had oh, ordered some God. tissue before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the call. Yes! Now the real performers have shown up. My love has come along. Does it feel good to be out of there? Woo! Nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Crystal L. Bass is about to have one of the best plays of all time. to really like some of these performances but something's still missing you know my characters are like me they are dramatic all my life i had to fight <laughs> i'm dying you hear that elizabeth mm -hmm. maya redfern don't ever forget it wow Thank you. Personality. Look at I am a Baltimore City native. I am from the hood, but situations do change if you trust in God. But God, I'm just gonna have to trust you. You took Wilson away from me, God. It was hard. It's been really exciting. The energy in the waiting room is really high. And if I worry about this boy, I will never get my work done. I look at drama as not just entertainment, it is a ministry for me. I believe that people's lives can be touched and sometimes transformed. Because I just don't look at acting for a paycheck. I would not. I would still do it if money never crossed my hands. All right. I do it because it's my anointing and I believe it's why God created me. And that is why I'm here. And that's why I think they should pick me. It'll be ministry, I promise you. Thank you, Maya. She make a great action. Okay. I can. If, I, if this is my play, I would write her. Oh, I would write her. Yeah. Someone she gets it. And it'll make an interesting twist. Praying, help me, please. He said you don't have to cry, cause he'll supply all my needs. Can't break. I'm tired of people talking about the color of my skin. Why? Because it hurts me to my heart. Now the two colors are clashing. Blacks versus white. And we're moving further and further apart. My name is Jamia Kirk. Katie. I am an actress. I've done some background work. You turned out to be exactly who I thought you were. I never pretended to be somebody else. It's been me all along. And it was me who was her in front of everybody. I think it went well. I just hope that it did. And I prayed that it would. So, and I know that things are going to be okay. Everybody loves me. I have a good, warm, inviting personality. But even though I have no family, no job, and no money for college... I play well with others. 
but I can't wait for him. You should pick me because I have raw talent. I'm good. Good. <laughs> love, love, love her. Give me you. Everything else can wait. The vaginal moan. Mm, mm, the combo clip vaginal moan. Mm, 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 mm. There's the almost moan. <laughs> There's the right on it moan. Yes! Yes, right there, right there, yes, yes. My name is Elisa Jade. Looking at the reaction of what I was doing on stage, that's what really got me. And I was like, I can do that? I love seeing expression of people's faces while I'm on stage. Yes, uh, is this your monologue? Nice? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm loyal, confidential, I'm humble. Anything, I, I follow di directions excellently. I woke up one morning, Mitch, and I realized my life was perfect. Everything I've ever wanted from the time I was six. I've been, been doing this for over 25 years, and everything I've done, I've ever done on my own. I have no agent, I have no manager. And I got restless. What are you doing when everything is right? When everything is just the way you've always wanted it to be? I have the perfect home, a career, the most gifted child, and a husband who stimulates me. Um, hello. Before. What I gave today, I was nervous. When I'm on stage, I'm in heaven. So, on stage is gonna be better than what you saw today. Okay, the first person to make me cry. <laughs> okay, so you know what really sold me? Her passion. I got to find a place in this show for her. All of this blood, bones shattered like soft ice cream cones. Don't. Don't do that. A new TV, maybe. A stereo, a refrigerator, a couch. Okay, but don't surprise me with a house that I didn't even get the chance to pick out. Okay, we got this lady here. Oh, <laughs> my name is Tanya Brown. <laughs> I've worked at many in many local plays. What are you going to be doing for us today? So I'll be doing on my uh, monologue. Um, I create characters. So like, I was talking to my girlfriend Maria on the phone the other day, and uh, Maria tells me, "Oh my God, you will not believe what she told me." This is my background. It's my world. It's, it's the one place that I can. I can. I don't have to be myself. No, that cannot be true because Hank and I have been going together for like a long, 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 long time. I'm going to bring your character to life, whoever that might be. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's interesting? It's interesting though that she can change her personality. Yeah. 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 I didn't think about her. I, I, thought the singing, I thought the singing wasn't that great, but I liked her acting. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I just, Thank you. 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 And then the foolishness begins. My name is Elendis Kelly. Um, this poem uh, that I'm reciting is called Open Covers. It's been quite complicated. I just moved here from Atlanta, Georgia. I, I moved here with $500 to my name. I have no reason why I moved here. Are you gay? You have a little phaser baby? Because I can see you getting arrested from staring in my face and looking into my eyes. So go ahead and stay in this thing because your body is spilling your teeth. Let me grab them case and piss and butter between your cheeks. You want to hate on me for being all I can be? I write poetry books and, you know, I sing, uh, at least I think I can. You weird, want to be straight, bitch, you just want to be me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid to take risks and afraid to live because I feel like you only got one life. And if you don't make sacrifices and go for what you want, then you're only living within a box. I forgot the song, so I'm gonna do Jesse J. Uh, okay. You're stuck in the playground while I'm a grown woman now. Baby, he was so entertaining. I mean, he was by far my fave of the day. Now, I kinda think he might be a little bit on bad songs. And she'd be like, oh, come give me a hug, dude. 
It's my party, and I do what I want, do what I want. So while you sit and watch me, you can keep dancing alone. You certainly are entertained. Where's your photo? I live for a little bit crazy. Breaking news. Soup and fill soup. Tickets are going to be on sale. Next on the call. Baltimore did me proud. You know what? I'm gonna give you a standing ovation. I mean, watershed over here. She was crying. on the call. What are you doing? Everything is right. Oh my God, you will not believe what you told me. You're stuck in the playground. But I'm a grown woman now. I live for a little bit crazy. I'm really beginning to like some of these performances. My name is Shannon Ramsey. God is inside you. And I've been singing for a long time. I opened for B.B. Winans. I played Sugar Avery in the color purple. I was a contestant on the CW, The Next, and Gloria Estefan was my mentor. She was freaking amazing. <laughs> I want to be a part of greatness and it's really amazing to see another young lady who looks like me um, have her dream come true. Okay! I loved it. Thank you so much. I love her. For Ruby. Oh, that's what I was saying. I love her for Ruby. She was more, 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 more. Great. So let me just say something, and I want to put my disclaimer out there. <clears throat> she's very talented. She's from the area. She's done a lot of um can I not film this? Okay now, so that was some drama. I mean, but I really liked her. I swear I think it's a place in the show for her. Keep on smiling every day, and I know it's so true. All the days that I loved you, girl, I know it's true. All the days that I can, and I thought he was cool. And when you met me, I noticed that my world became good. Then I met you, girl. Cause I've been thinking about you, I Actually, I just made it up. And it ain't taken me no 18 years to figure out that the soil was 
hard and rocky, and he wasn't never going to do it. Troy, I held on to you. I held you tight. And upstairs, in that room, with the darkness falling in on me, I gave up everything I had to erase the doubt that you weren't the finest man in the world because you was my husband. James C. Morant. I'm going to do a monologue about um, a minister who uh, thought he was going to heaven and got consigned to hell. Uh -oh. I'm having the time of my life. There's no sense of time here. There's so much pain here. Having retired several years ago, and I find myself being able to do stuff uh, that I would not normally uh, ever have thought of doing. I kept your word. I kept the faith. I ran the race. I've done jazz festivals in Spain, uh, France, um, taught workshops in Switzerland. Lord, you have forsaken me. A mansion was uh, planned I played for me. The role for Mama I Want to Sing, and then I just got back from London right. from playing um, in a show Lord. called Tell Hell I Ain't Coming. Why have you forsaken me? Your commandments, I kept every one. I down on my knees, I prayed every day. Mercy, grace, forgiveness, I ask for them all right now, Lord, please. I bring exuberance, I bring uh, enthusiasm, I bring decent vocals, uh, I have a reasonable memory even at my age, and, uh, and I think that I provide authenticity to any role that I play. I'm loving everything about him. Thank you. I've been afraid of my father all my life. I spent every waking moment just trying to keep him from exploding and doing things just right, knowing that one day he killed me. He killed all of us. My name is Mahogany Ayana Razad. I'm doing a poem for you guys today. I love dance. I've been dancing for a very long time. For those who were showered with everything. I love poetry and just being on stage, I feel for at those home. Who were given many beatings but no hugs. I love Crystal's hustle. It seemed like she just had this never say die kind of go getter thing, and I like to be around that kind of energy. For those whose innocence was taken, a shell of their former self after the rape and. I'm here, and it went great. Hmm. Can I not film this? Here we go again. Now what, Simon? I really like mahogany. Okay, so they thought she was going to be a diva. I didn't think so. But I got overruled. And now guess what? My girl mahogany is getting Donald Trumped. It's over. Don't you think it's over? No, I hope I'm going to really see great successes from you. But no longer with us. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Where's the man? But I ain't going no 10,000 miles to help murder and kill other poor people. On to the my blessed savior. Where is the skin? I mean, where's the man with no shirts? I mean, not for me. I was married now. But I need to get some skin, some chest, all that good stuff, some eye candy for my ladies in the audience. I'm doing it for them. Yes, my name is Robert Lee Hardy. Yeah. It feels really good to see people from my city making their dreams and their visions a reality because this town is just like filled with talent. From the Baltimore School for the Arts, the arena players, and when I'm not acting, I'm teaching, so this is um, it's my life. And we get a bad rep sometimes, so it's good to see any brother or sister out here making their dreams their reality. Pray. Well, Mama, what the hell do you think I've been doing all this time? When I first time? heard about the audition, I, I wanted to get out, get night. down here and see if I could be a part of her vision as well as her being a part of mine because, you know, I'm down here to get to work. You know? However it goes, I'm just glad that I could be here to support her. I didn't even have a quarter to buy myself a paper. I asked them to spare me some time. I just want to use my God-given talent to take people's level of consciousness to the next level. It's not just about the red carpet. So I went in there, um, I gave it... All that I had. Because I was so damn scared. Either way, go Crystal El Bass, go Baltimore, it's our turn. <laughs> All right, Robert, you know what? I'm gonna give you a standing ovation. Right, right. We saw your soul, but I'm gonna see a little bit of your body. Oh, uh, I, I mean, you got, I ain't got no six-packs on the Okay, I mean, you're working with a little something. Yeah, together. <laughs> 
Oh my God. I mean, when I tell you he came there to perform, he came there to perform. I mean, watershed over here. She was crying. Well, Robert, you know I was really tired. You woke me up. I'm feeling good about this now. I appreciate that. Uh, Baltimore did me proud. We had young women and old women, young men, old men. We had some kids. I mean, even Beyonce showed up. Well, I mean, kind of Beyonce. And now the process begins. I could tell it's gonna be another long night. Breaking news. Crystal Elvis's Ain't No Love Like a Mother's Love is coming to the Lyric Opera House on Saturday, November 15th. Starring Deatra Hicks from Tyler Perry's Laugh to Keep from Crying, Terrell Carter from Think Like a Man 2, and Iyana Crawley, winner of BET's Sunday Best. Also featuring comedian Mike Brooks from BET's Comic View and national recording artist Brave Williams. Get your tickets now. You do not want to miss this. Coming up next on The Call. Yes, the auditions are over, but now here comes the hard part. It's work to be done. How am I going to figure out who to pick? I feel like I if already. You sleep on some things. I didn't already slept on them. It'll kind of work. Definitely sleep on this one. It'll work. It'll help you in the morning. I'm going to do you a good favor. Uh, On the call. That was forever will be. There's no sense of time here. For those who are showered with everything except love. Well, Mama, what the hell do you think I've been doing all this time? Yes, the auditions are over, but now here comes the hard part. It's work to be done. How am I gonna figure out who to pick? So much to choose from, so little time. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm very confused. Maybe I can get some help from my team. We had to meet to figure out the next steps in this process and kind of recap the auditions. But let's see, come on. You don't like a fisher? Robert, we want to look at Robert. Pray. Well, mama, what the hell do you think I've been doing all this time? I prayed every night. I laid in that hospital bed for 32 days and 32 nights, and all I did was pray. <laughs> Didn't y'all believe him, though? Good. Yeah, he was good. He was good. I believe I every word. I believe every word. I like him. I want to see the weird girl that started talking like she was from London, and you, like, skipped her past everybody, so I thought she was your friend. Oh, I don't know where she is. But why did you do that? I still don't have the full understanding of what that because was. I thought you were running some like type of muck. What you mean running the muck? I mean, why does she get ahead of everybody? You wouldn't even let my cousin in, but you because love her. Because your cousin, she was cute. Cousin, I don't yeah, care. Well, she yeah, was she was cute. And that's why I let her in. I cry for the runaways and for those who lost their homes, those raised by the streets and those who feel alone. So you, you don't like her? I liked her. So what's the problem? Why okay, here's what, honestly. So when you look at people to see if they need to be a part of the production, mm -hmm. 
then you look to see is it going to be a liability? Do they look like they would be easy to work with? Mm -hmm. They look like they would bring problems and drama to the set. Uh -huh. I mean, she looks like she could be a problem. Oh, oh she this was, is lady. She's blind. Her? Right? Did you see her? Yeah. But God is hard. It's hard being a single mother raising these boys in this world today. Now, I love her, and John said that I should write her in. Okay. But from a business perspective, I'm concerned about liability, liability and all that. And everybody said, get somebody to take her around. That's an additional Wait, person. Is she that, like blind, blind? She's or blind. Like, oh, yes. Let's watch her. What do you do when everything is right? When everything is just the way you've always wanted it to be? I don't think it even matter what she was talking about. So it was the emotion and the passion. I don't know, damn it. Let me see who's next. You didn't like her? I really, I thoroughly, I'm, a, I'm actually afraid of her. I'm, I'm afraid, honestly. Why? Because I think she's gonna like rip my neck off or something. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. I'll admit, God taking his good time getting around me. But look at all he gives. Laughing, singing, sex. Oh, she makes me cry, I love her. I like her. I She's a yes, Paul. Okay, well, let's, everybody just, say, just pay attention to this. Pay attention to what's about to happen. Let me just say something, and I want to put my disclaimer out there. <clears throat> she's very talented. She's from the area. She's done a lot of, um, can I not film this? So, Frank turned the cameras off? Yeah. Mm. So, Frank turned your cameras off? Yeah. <laughs> Huh. We had to talk off the record. So this is why I feel like a round table is needed mm -hmm. with some mutual friends. Because I love her. She's, I mean, she was my top girl and Robert was my top guy. Mm -hmm. So I, I really, really, really want her. But it's, it's gonna take some, you know, getting to the bottom of the messiness. That's all. Okay. Here's a chick. She's such a cutie. She's so She looks like Maya. This is Jimmy. She looks like Solange. Yeah. But even though I have no family, no job, and no money for college, it's you that I feel sorry for. I love her. I like her. She's I so need some sweet. tissue. Get out of here. Have several seats. And then the foolishness begins. I think I should be in charge of looking at the pictures and making comments about them. What, what do you want to say about that? Why is it so greasy? She all scared. You telling me this lady is that lady? Mm -hmm. Put it back on one more time. That's not her. She was Beyonce. No, 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 no. Child, the picture got lipstick all over her teeth. <laughs> I was handing over those no's. Oh, no, that's not a no, this is a yes. Yes, thank you. Is he a yes? No. <laughs> this is a no. This is, a, this is a yes. I cannot this is a yes. trust. No. His picture looks amaze balls. But, but he didn't really look like this in person. Because I don't remember. Well, he just needs some makeup, that's all. No, but they didn't think, they think for Christ, since like Christ is going to take his shirt off, be all sexy, and the lady's going to have to yell and scream, they didn't think he quite fit. Oh, I'm mm. We said for a bridesmaid, remember? I mm -hmm. never said that. I never said that. I really feel like y'all not picking I don't the right people. Her. I just thought y'all not picking the right people, to be honest. I don't know if y'all had some type of uh, um, bias against, here you go, bias against people. <laughs> Who he gonna be? That's Christ. <laughs> you a damn liar. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you're gonna keep friend. adding in people, then I'm going back to my pile. No, she was the bride. she's the one where we gave all the pretty pictures and you said you knew her, that's her. I re here's, here's what I really want, okay. here's what I, you wanna know what I want, honestly? What I really want you to do, what? for real, I want you to sleep on something. Uh, maybe I don't know if I did that. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull them out. Wait, y'all said no. And I just, I just want you to sleep on them because it's I just feel like, I I'm feel like if you already. sleep on some things, I don't know, I already slept on them. It'll kind of work. Definitely sleep on this one. It'll work. It'll help you in the morning. I'm gonna I'm do you a good favor. Uh, Ooh. Uh. It's late at night. I'm tired as hell. You want to keep playing games with the people you knew was horrible. And you sent them there on purpose. It was a <laughs> I know you t you the one that invited these people here. That you know they have a lick of talent. All right, y'all. Seriously. Let's get a bite to eat. But I, I do have a good pile of yes. And the wait is over. Help me congratulate these familiar faces. They made the cut. 
Shannon Ramsey. We come into this world with God. Kirk Thomas Jr. How can you think of me when I do things my way? Alisa Jade. The most gifted child and the husband who stimulates me. Featuring Will Haynes, Taylor Robinson, James C. Morant. Supporting cast, April Hall, Rick Palmer Jr., Jocelyn Indigo Saunders, Walter Parker Jr. Come get up close and personal with the cast of Crystal L. Bass's Ain't No Love Like a Mother's Love. We'll be at Cream Restaurant and Lounge at 518 North Charles Street in Baltimore for a sip and see happy hour. It's all going down on Tuesday, August 26th from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets are just $10 in advance and $15 at the door. For your advance tickets, email us at info at crystallbass.com. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the call. We have done so much over the last few months, and it's always great to celebrate those accomplishments. We have a new logo, we have a new cast, and we have a new venue. Ain't no love like a mother's love. It's not a play, this is a production. Starring Deatra Hicks from Tyler Perry's Laugh to Keep from Crying, Terrell Carter from Think Like a Man 2, and Iyana Crawley, winner of BET's Sunday Best. Also featuring comedian Mike Brooks from BET's Comic View and national recording artist Brave Williams. Get your tickets now. You do not want to miss this.